Thank, Thank you, you, Amy. And uh, good afternoon, everybody. Two things to remind you of. Uh, may I remind everyone present that the meeting will be recorded via the internet and this recording archive for future viewing. And if you're not speaking, please can you mute? Thank you. Which takes us straight on to agenda item two. which is the minutes of the meeting held on the 13th of October, 2020. Would you like to do it page by page or do you want me to do it on block? Anybody? I'll move the minutes as they are. Thank you very much. Moving on to agenda item three. Do we have any declarations of interest today? No, thank you. Moving on to agenda item four, which is a social service training sorry, arrangement. Sorry, Chairman, can I, sorry, can, just sorry to interrupt. Can I just check, have we had any apologies from um, Councillor Owen Griffiths? Owen, Everybody was else is with now. us? No. I, I just logged in, sorry. Oh, hello, hello. Hi, Fantastic, sorry. great. Just snuck that's in very lovely, that's okay, I couldn't <laughs> see you. Okay, thank you, Owen, welcome. Okay, moving on to agenda item four, social services training arrangements. This was at Cabinet on the 2nd of November, 2020. Lance, can you thank you, thank you, us Chair. on this? Thank you. Um, yes, uh, th thank you. Uh, um, this report, uh, obviously, is a reference from Cabinet, so it, uh, it, it's in relation to a decision that Cabinet made on the 2nd of November. And I, I suppose, um, it, it's one of these things that that is very important to us uh, within within our social services teams in in the Vale of Glamorgan. Um, but I, I I suppose I can understand that for for uh, the rest of the council it probably doesn't seem like such a big issue. Um, but we have been in a a regional. Um, uh, sort of training workforce uh, arrangement with Cardiff for the last three years, um, and and that was a decision that was originally made by cabinet that we would we would go into that, um, and this this uh, report uh, was for cabinet to make a decision as to whether that would continue or not. Um, it, both partners um, uh, uh, very aware of uh, a number of local uh, positive uh, improvements that have been made um, as a result, really, of, of COVID-19. Some of the different ways of working that we've had. So we're very working very closely with our providers currently, um, and so so we felt that actually a regional team wasn't helping with that, and so um, we we felt that that it was better to to move back to uh, the local arrangements that we once had um, th three three years ago. Um, the, the, re the report is, is here. Um, you see uh, issues in there in terms of how we get our funding from Social Care Wales. There wouldn't be any change to that. Uh, we would get our proportion. Uh, Social Care Wales are very clear what that is. Um, so, so there isn't really any change in terms of, of that financially or the match funding that the council provides as 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 well um so i suppose um really um you know in 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 summary this will move back to a locally uh provided training unit that we will provide through um our uh, organizational development team in human resources but we're obviously working very closely with with ourselves through a through a joint management arrangement um, and, and that we will do that from when the agreement would have naturally come to an end in three years time so rather than choosing to extend it we're, we're, we're taking that point to to uh, end, end it um, so I'm I'm happy to answer any questions or, or to elaborate further as you would like does anybody have any questions? Rachel, if you have questions, you'll have to shout because we can't see you. Anybody? Ben, do you have questions? Uh, it was just to clarify something Lance just said. Uh, to be clear, it's three years from when that arrangement started, not three years from now. So it would be April uh, that we'd be starting this new arrangement um, of this local provision. That's all. Uh, I think it's a really good idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it forward to Cabinet. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions for Lance on that subject? Thank no? Move, moving on. Thank you. Agenda item five, 
I can't read Welsh. Where's the English? Uh, the report of the Director of Social Services, Annual Social Services Representations and Complaints Report. Lance. Okay, uh, th thank you, Chair. I suppose at this point I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce Natasha James, who uh, I'm not sure all scrutiny committee members will have met before, uh, but uh, Natasha is our operational manager for Safeguarding, who also covers complaints and uh, uh, social services representation. So um, I, I feared that I may not be able to ask answer some of your detailed questions, so I asked Natasha to come along in, in case there was anything that I, I couldn't deal with. But I did say I would introduce the report report. Um, I, this is a, a routine report for us in that we bring bring it every year. Um, it, I, I know we had a lot of this information not so long ago with the director's report, um, but this uh, again provides more detail and it was one of the reports that the scrutiny committee um, requested uh, last, last time. Um, I mean, it, I, I suppose uh, in in summary, it's probably worth noting that that social services operates to a different set of uh, complaints procedures than the rest of the council. Um, it, it, it's set out for us in terms of what we we have to do. So, so when you see quite often the the corporate re complaints report, our figures aren't represented in there because we have a different different set of mechanisms that we have to 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 use and that's called a guide to handling complaints and representations um so essentially what happens is is complaints are are dealt with if they possibly can be at a, an, an inquiry stage so when somebody first contacts us uh fa fa failing that if we can't deal with it straight away then then it can become a, 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 a proper complaint, I suppose, a, a, a stage one complaint where usually our team managers will look at those to determine, see what's what's been going on and and then um, go, go back to the individual with, with the intention clearly of resolving the issue for them. Um, where that that uh, does, doesn't does result in um, uh, everybody being happy with what's happened. Um, we we are able to, to do a stage two. And, and, and I suppose some of the figures in terms of the timing, you will see some people will have gone straight to stage two because people have that right to request it. But stage two is an independent investigation. So we have to commission those. Um, and and somebody from outside the local authority will, will look at what we've done and, and make some determinations. And then what usually happens is that goes into a into a, a large report uh, and we write to them um, you, it, I, I can't think of, an, uh, of, an, of a time when we haven't fully accepted the independent uh, investigators recommendations but that's what we usually do and we send that then to that individual if the individual isn't happy then they can of course go to the um, public service ombudsman um, and, and so I suppose when you look at the figures within the attached uh, report within the appendix it's it's important to bear that in mind that there are all those different stages and people can can come in uh, skipping various certain stages so sometimes if the numbers don't look like they completely add up that's why um, so so at, at, as I've said at appendix one there is the detail of 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 the number of complaints we've had uh, and and that we've tried to group them I suppose also in terms of the the types of complaints we've we've had um, I think it's also important to say that, that, that we get a lot of compliments as well uh, and again I suppose compliments and praise are, are just as important in terms of guiding us in terms of what we what we do and, and how, how we operate um, and I think you know particularly uh, uh, although this report re relates to to the, the last financial year, clearly the impact of COVID-19 um, has, has uh, as you would expect, impacted on on um, our complaints response. But you know we've we've continued to provide face-to-face -face meetings uh, and have used virtual platforms wherever possible to 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 do that. So. A, again, I'm happy to elaborate or, or answer any questions or, or duck and pass those questions to Natasha, who may be slightly better placed than me to, to do them, given she's almost certainly going to have more more uh, more um, awareness of the detail of those. Thank you. You're very welcome, Natasha. Um, nice to see the face behind the name at last. Anybody got any questions for Natasha? Anybody? No? I have oh. one, Janice. Sorry, I am raising my hand, but you can't see me. I can't see you, no. Yes, Rachel? Um, 
hello natasha nice to see you again well Hi. you know virtually yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering when you sent out the independent uh, uh reviews for investigation did this take any longer due to um you know all the restrictions and anything else and did it have any negative impact on on the outcomes um it definitely took longer i think mm. because just coordinating at the very beginning i would say it has taken longer because yeah. of coordinating um sometimes there's some people still have paper files for things and people need to read things so yeah but we we have managed to get around that i wouldn't yeah. say in terms of the outcomes of the investigations or the independent yeah. investigator in get investigations it's had any impact on outcomes negatively yes at, at all we've continued we we, we did have um, a period right at the very beginning where we needed to just halt and think about how we did it but then sure. after that period we did then continue and i think what this has enabled us to do is to look at a wider pool of investigators yes yes totally understand that yeah yeah my my intention was i don't i don't want this to impact negatively on on the service that you're providing so that was the reason for the question and that's explained it perfectly thank you very much thank you thank chair you. thank you anybody else got any questions for natasha neil yeah um th thanks chair um natasha uh, um I, I did indicate the other day that I, I might be asking these questions um first of all the um why did all the stage two complaints go out of time scale in the last in the last financial year it's it's i mean we set a time scale and it's very and as as Lance just explained these these are being investigated outside uh, stage two do do go to independent uh adjudicators but it, it is alarming that all of them seem to have gone beyond the time scale. Uh, and under, under Section 9, Lessons Learned, um, it seems that the majority of the complaints, or a large proportion of the complaints, I'd rather, perhaps it's better to say, uh, relate to the um, timeliness and due process. Um, and that people can. Uh, complaining that they don't understand what they're being told, they don't understand the, la the, the language we're using. And I've always been a great advocate of using plain English rather than corporate speak and, or, 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 or t jargon. And, and uh, it, 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 it isn't a great leap to go back to using words of two syllables rather than words of six, which is what we tend to do within, within the service. And then my final point, really, uh, get them all out of the way, is um, with the uh, compliments that, that Lance again referred to, uh, just making oh, yeah. sure that these are communicated, these are communicated to everybody, uh, uh, all the staff, uh, uh, because it is important for them to hear. And I'm not sure who's that shouting, but someone's got their mic on. Okay, that was that. Those those are the three main points that I wanted to make. Th thanks, Natasha. Thank Probably. you, Neil. Natasha, would you like to respond to that? Yeah, so I'll take them individually. The first one, absolutely acknowledge that all of the stage twos have gone out of the prescribed timescale. There's a number of reasons for that. I think sometimes there is, we, we appoint an independent investigator and the first point that they have to do is make contact with the complainant to set out the terms of the, what they're looking to investigate and the, the context and that has to be agreed there can be delays with that process in complainants responding um in a timely way there has been a delay in relation to the capacity of the independent investigators and them having quite a few on the go at the time and us holding them to account for that so i think why we highlighted it particularly in this report is to to make it clear that this is an area this year that we are focusing on in terms of regular communication with the independent investigators to try and keep them to timescales as well. Um, so the point two about words and language, uh, absolutely. Um, I think across all areas of our service, across all of our communication, it's a subject that we talk about regularly, um, about using plain language that can be simple and understood and we advocate that message where possible and in you know in our own communications um lessons learned are shared back to our service so you know that's a particular theme now for 
to be shared back into our service about the language that we're using when dealing with citizens or writing reports. Um, so absolutely take that point. And the third point around compliments, again, yes, that, that is going back into the service through newsletter style less, and the lessons learned so that people are aware that we don't only get complaints, that we get a lot of compliments as well. And people, you know, um, are grateful and also appreciative of the work that people are doing. Thank you, Natasha. Councillor John Thomas. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Um, I'm not sure if my que my questions for Natasha, Lance, or whoever, but I don't know whether anybody else has had a phone call yet. But I had a phone call yesterday from a gentleman who was uh, making allegations about um, serious things that went on quite a few years ago um, with um, his son, who was supposedly imprisoned by the council. And well, I won't go into detail. I I didn't I. I told him I wasn't prepared to discuss it with him because I didn't know the uh, the background and whatever, so I just fobbed him off with that. Uh, but I don't know whether anyone can shed any light on it um, for us because I'm sure if you haven't had a phone call, you told me he was yeah. going to ring everybody, so I'm sure other people will be getting yeah. them as well. So uh, I just thought I'd better raise the, uh, raise the point. Well, I haven't had a phone call this time, but this has been ongoing for many, many years. I don't know how much um, we can say, Lance. I, I, for anybody who calls you, I would direct them to our service and, and, and to us and we will pick it up and respond. This is a gentleman that just doesn't want help. Um, he just, I don't know what he wants, to be honest, but, you know, when, when I've responded to him, I've I've asked him, um, to get in touch with social services who are more than willing to talk to him and help him with with his um, things that he, he needs to address Lance. and uh, he just doesn't want to. And, Lance, yes, can we... I just check, is there a particular section that you would direct that gentleman to? Um, uh, just in case there is any further inquiries for our members and or any members of the public are watching this recording? I, I mean, I, d I don't think okay, we should no. be talking about any individual, uh, really, uh, in 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 a public forum, really. So, yeah. I, d I I I think. Um, so is that the main know, council number? Uh, yes, they come through on yeah. um, through to you know uh, two hundred seven hundred double one. That's absolutely fine. Um, uh, but okay. I'm I'm sure most individuals who've had repeated contacts with us will will have our numbers, and they're more than welcome. Yeah, to I, I, I don't think it's a case of he didn't know who to contact. He just wanted to, yeah. He wanted to, um, to speak to me about it. I wasn't prepared to speak to him. Um, I just thought I ought to flag it up because if other people haven't had the phone call, they're probably going to get one at some stage. Please, okay, please just direct any, you, anybody to us. That's absolutely fine. Neil? Yeah, um, he, he called me as well and I ended up speaking with him. Uh, everything I suggested in terms of people he, he, who could help him, he's not, he's not my ward. I pointed that out and said that he should be talking to his own counsellors. Um, he's... Uh, uh, and any of any other suggestions I made, it was very much he'd spoken to this, he'd spoken to that, he'd spoken to his AM, he'd spoken to his MP, who didn't want to know, he'd spoken to the police, the commissioner, everything he'd spoken to, who didn't want to know, apparently. And um, as, I, as, as John said, I didn't know anything about the case either, and said, look, there's nothing I can do, apart from advise you to talk to your, your local councillors, who, who should be able to deal with it. And he wasn't very happy with that either. So I'm not sure where where to, where to go with that. Mm. Thank you for that, Neil. Um, ben. Yeah, chair. Thank you. Um, I uh, I'd, I'd ask us to move on from this point in this forum. Obviously, it's recorded. Everyone can can view this. Uh, there have been individuals in the past where we have sent a message out to all councillors, uh, advising them. Uh, of repeated contact and and how to uh, how to contact the council. I understand this is somebody who who has had that email uh, round to councillors previously. If it's helpful, uh, we can send the same thing round again to all members uh, to advise um, of those routes. Uh, perhaps I can go via Amy or, or directly out from social services. But otherwise, I think if it's okay, can we uh, can we move on from that? Thanks. Yeah, it's very sad, and we will move on. Um, agenda items six and seven. I don't have anything urgent as chairman. Um, so thank you for your attendance, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you all very much. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Thank you. Yeah.